Okay, this is section uh, 3.2 of the capital components. The third question says explain why a square square power square over the five negative form value of the well, in order to understand that, you have to what the form of the five means. Over the five means you take the base, in this case, because the base is defined in brackets, what we're going to do is we're going to take that base and we're going to multiply it by itself. And I thought about, well, what does that mean? Well, each of these four squares is going to be multiplied by itself. But what? Which is four multiplied by itself ten times. And then we write as the power. Whether the expression of negative two and bracket is multiplied or squared multiplied is equal to negative two squared by two. So if you think about this, which of these things is multiplied by itself twice? Multiplied by negative two multiplied by itself three times. So we're taking this from negative two and multiplied by itself. So here, you have negative 2 squared multiplied by itself three times. Which would be 6 negative 2. Which is negative 2 and bracket 3 for the 6. Is it correct? Is it the same? No, they are not equal to 2 plus. They are not equal. Finally, the last one is to explain why this fraction is 3.4. There's two ways to think of the point of your rule. You can think of it as being divisible or And we said before, if you have multiplication, you have two brackets for your opponent. You can first both your opponent before both parts of your quotient or product. So in this case, if I think of this as being I can still dispose my opponent for both parts here. And then I will have two opponent for over four to the And the other way of thinking it is three and four multiplied by itself four times. So when I think about it, all of these things are the same thing. And if I were to solve that, I would multiply four times this way. Three multiplied by itself times four times. The question in the class is write each expression as a single power and then evaluate each power. So here, when you are multiplying two powers that have the same base, if you think about what this one is, this one is the second one. Four cubed, same thing as four, multiplied by itself three times. Multiplied by four before, which is four multiplied by itself. I guess which one of these forms are seven. But the shortcut you should have used is when you are multiplying, you take the two things and add them to And so you evaluate each power to make sure the calculator. The base is four, so you have 12 on each. Phone is seven, so the standard form of that is 16,000. In the next example, we are still multiplying two bases that have two powers of the same base. So we're just going to shortcut this. Two bases and your exponents that have two powers. So we'll do seven to the exponent of six. And write it by x, y, y on our calculator. We get 117,000. Remember, since you don't have an x, y button in your calculator, you just and your last question, negative 3 is your base because it's defined by the brackets. And the rule would be keep your base, but you still have brackets around it. And your exponents, your answer is a single power. 
negative three times negative seven. Now we can write our product. What does that mean? We have negative base to the body point is the product of the This is called negative. We double check the calculator. Negative three times base divided by negative seven. I forgot to mention four. Is Ramsey a correct justifier answer? Because I think it's a decision to follow the deal. I think that's a lot more complicated. We learned that if you take away this pattern, which is similar to the following, I'm supposed to stand in four. Stand in four would be 16, which is the total range of eight. If I notice what happens to the powers of the x of 3 to the power multiple of that to the two, it has to be number of the So in that sense, we should put forward to zero, we have a standard form of this. And a while ago, we used to see the standard form of this. Previous form is negative one and a half to the power of the x. This is the form of negative one and a half to the power of the x. So the answer is when you have a base with a component of zero, the standard form is one. But when we look at this one, here I am defining the base as negative six. So when I put this with a component of zero, if we look at negative six without brackets, we get the same thing. This is not negative six. Is the opposite of 6 to the exponent of 0. Since we already know 6 to the exponent of 0 is the standard form of 1, then the opposite of 6 to the exponent of 0 must be negative 1. Okay. So I've been here as wrong. It should be a negative 1, not a positive 1. Question 6 rewrite each expression with a single power and the value of the same base. Take the base, I'm going to add our exponent, which is 5 to the exponent of 5. Here we're going to keep our base as negative six at this point. Negative six is negative six. Finally, the base and add their exponent here, so we get 8 to the exponent of 3, 4 times 8, 5 fourths. Another way to think about it, this is a dynamic system, I really do know my um, um, base 2 exponent of standard form. If you take 8, it's really 2 times 2 times 2. So if you think about it, it's Expression in repeatable eight points of the same power. And here, uh, 
in a few more cases, we have three multiplied by we have three times three multiplied by two. multiplied by plus two by twelve. Then we have the question nine, which is division of powers in x squares. So when you are dividing two powers, you have to say that each of them will be three. And think of what this looks like. It's five times five times five. Let me contextualize this again. If you go back into grade E class, and I was to show you that form, and I was asking what fractions would I multiply together, if that was the question I was showing you. The idea is when you divide them by, you have Five over five is really number one. Right? Five over five is number one. When you multiply by one, you don't change the product at all. So essentially, I can put lines through these two class, character class here, because they are making multiply by one divided by five. And what I'd be left with is simply five times five, or six. That's the thinking that goes into the shortcut form. Dividing two powers by the same base, so it's showing all of that. Your base, factor form, is the same answer as r squared. If I apply that to the next one, here's the power of eight, and I got six right straight away. So it's like three multiplied by four plus one. Multiplied by itself four times. One of these when you grade a zero, one pair, one pair, one pair, one pair. Left with put in the power of four. And instead of drawing that, you can draw them a shortcut rule and keep the base. Scratch your components. And use that way to end. Now we have to evaluate it. And the last one, your base is negative 20 to 5 times 5. Your base is subtract your component. Your single power is negative 4 to the component of 4. Your square root times 60 is 66. Your positive. Question 11, write these expressions as a quote. Four divided by six to the power of eight. Keep your base and subtract your exponent. Ten plus six to the power of one. Here we have three to the exponent power of eight divided by three to the exponent of two. Keep your base and subtract your exponent. Three to the power of six. Three to the power of nine, which is seven plus nine. Forward. The last one, five to the exponent of seven divided by five to the exponent of one. There is just one or divided by one there. So what you're going to do is you're going to keep the base and subtract the five to the The following expression is the division of two powers. So here we have negative 5 in brackets to the exponent of 7 divided by the negative 5 in brackets to the exponent of 2. Question 14 says write this as a single power of the value. So when you are multiplying two squares, you are multiplying by itself 4 by the square root of 6. Because the powers are all having the same base, you can Base and add the exponent. Just one power of eight. Each here 
way is to simply know that a power is going to exponent and multiply the exponent. Evaluate that. For your next one, you'll have the product of two numbers to an exponent of the side brackets. The rule is you can do one of two things. You can simplify the product. You can take that number, multiply it, and multiply it down four times. Or you can disperse the exponent from the product. So it's a product of two powers that got separate to the form four multiplied by one to the real power four. Seven to the power four is a reasonably big number, seven to the four oh one. Multiplied by I know the negative three is what we call the power, but that's eighty one. So take that number and multiply it by eighty one. And finally, the quotient of two powers are two ways you can do this. You can take your five, six, and multiply by itself four times. In which case, you can multiply the numerator by itself four times. You can also just disperse that a little bit. But the regard to this question, could have been written as five divided by. When we do so, we get 25 times 25, which is 345. We get 36 times 36. Of course, if you thought of it this way, you end up with 625 divided by. Expresses this power of the uh, power raised to the So this is two squared multiplied by itself four times. You take the power of two squared and put it in brackets. And the last question <laughs> expresses repeated multiplication. So because you have the product of uh, two numbers, you can disperse that so it can times two times two multiplied by negative five times five times five times here we have nine times eight times nine times eight times nine times eight times nine times eight nine times eight in brackets And finally, the repeated multiplication of two cubes and take two cubes and multiply by itself four times. And it will be one of two things. It will be one of the four over three is equal to four. Two is equal to four divided by 